Hey guys, Eclipse14 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario. Alright, still running through the Cooper Brothers Fortress, but Bombette's now with us. Sweet! Let's get out of here. There's a couple things we need to do. First thing we actually need to do is just... Pretty much head back the way we came and exit the fortress, but not before taking out a couple of these walls. Primarily this one. Whack that, and you get yourself another fortress key. Alright, cool. There's also this one wall if you want to open it, but considering that one Koopa Troopa kind of made it obvious, nothing to worry about as far as I'm concerned. Though there's that other fortress key we have to deal with eventually. I'm going to keep on rolling out this way because there was a wall that we still needed to crack. And with Bombat being able to blow up walls properly, I can get that done. So let's make our way out of the fortress for a little bit. And right there is the wall I'm talking about. Light up and get out of the way. Let's get down the pipe and see what's here. Hmm. Right here is a treasure chest. The very first one. Which is an FP Plus badge. Alright, sweet. Unfortunately, that thing is three flower points, so not really usable at this point. Well, unless one of your level ups was a BP, in which case, go nuts. Maybe. Speaking of, FK, fix that, and let's go back into the fortress and continue where we left off. Alright, back inside, and here we go. Oh, respawn. Okay, in a situation like this, what would be the best thing to do? Um, power jump takes out the inactive. Bomb bat, I think, should be able to deal with uh, this one. There we go. No problem whatsoever. Though it did cost me half my FP. Joy. A oh, shoot. Hoping not to do it twice, but here we are. Same situation. Same outcome. Only now I'm completely out of FP. Well, okay, I have one. Big deal. Why'd I do a hammer on that? Uh, just re probably just reaction because of the constant bomb -ums. Um, let's see. In this kind of situation, I'd rather switch her out with Cooper. Because I'm gonna be, um, shell tossing pretty soon. That be a one. Let the bomb on do its thing. Oh, hit that too early. There we go. I mean, sure, I could have used the hammer, but it makes no difference, does it? Anyway, that's done. So let's go ahead and make our way. Hey, let's not be dumb and actually jump. And we are back through this again. Oh, great. Except I don't actually have much of use. Great. I'll just go the standard for right now. Works for me. I just need to... Let them blow up. That's 
That's another six points, so 24 left to go. A slight respawn, that actually does kind of help a little bit. Especially since that's kind of mandated for the end of the game if you want max level. After all, the higher level you are, the less star points you get. Like this. I mean, Cooper's with me. I may as well just run with him unless it's absolutely mandated that I have to change him to somebody else. Especially considering I've got no flower points. At least for the time being. Okay. Right, this thing. Too bad I can't just fire flower it, but I can go the normal way and still be fine. As long as I don't act stupid. Which, fortunately, I shouldn't. Well, that was a little early. No problem, though. I mean, do I really need to go fall out on someone that only has one HP. Come on. It's not like they have defense. Spoiler, they don't. You saw the tattle ability. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the only ones that do are the Koopas. At least for now. Okay, in this case, I do have to max out. Finishes them off, and that's eight points. Twelve more to go, and I've leveled up. Oh, hey, finally some flower points. About time. All right, open this, and let's just roll on up. I'm not going to worry about the safe block to the south. Just roll on this way, up, and in through the door. Ah, well, that's great. Alright, what to do? Um, I guess just take on the paratrooper. How much I can do right now, otherwise. Though, I do have two flower points, so I can do a power jump and take out a bomb on that right. Oh. No, not items. Um... Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Takes you out, which leaves only the single bomb arm, and by this point, it's... it's not hard anymore. There we go. Okay. There's another spot for a fortress key. Open that, and in the door. Okay, so now we end up here, and Cooper's with us already. See down, it's the red switch. Looks like we got some puzzling to do. Hit it again. Takes everything back. Rinse and repeat for the left. And whoops. There we go. Wrong plane. That's pretty much it. So that's taken care of, and all I need to do now is just open the door. And I gotta drop those stairs down. Not for dealing with this group. Oh, there's two Koopas. Okay, um... No real difference here, to be honest. Now would definitely be in a good time for a fireball, though. Fire flower, excuse me.
Hmm, so this leaves me in a rather interesting situation. How do I want to approach this? Because I have no flower points, and the Koopas are one. I think my only real option here is to force Cooper to change to somebody else. And in this case, I'll just move it to, I guess, Goomba Rio. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. At least I can time this right. I'm not gonna worry about freaking body slam being an issue. And I can do Z for head bonking. This way Mario just uses the hammer and that takes him out. And that's how you do it! And there's a level up. About time. Okay, how do I want to approach? Do I want to do HP again, or do I want to actually put in badges? Next level up, I'll do badges outright. I I'd rather go for HP for right now. And that's pretty much it. Okay, I obviously need to get that opened up. Which needs these to go down. Down they go. It works for me. Alright, down the stairs. That brings us to this platform, which means I need bomb bag. Get out here. And blow this thing up. Alright, in through the door. And there's another fortress key. That was easy. Same situation, open the door, let's move on. Okay, so... Brings up the water. Why are you guys sleeping on the water anyway? What the hell were you doing? Whoops. Apparently I didn't get close enough. Well, anyway, um... I'm not sure this really makes a difference. In the case of Bomb Ben, I can use Bomb. I think that'll nuke one of them outright if I check. Yup, it does. Yeah, I should've known. That was the first fight and I used it. Though I won't need it this time. Oh, whoops. Well, nothing that matters, it was 1 HP anyway. I was just tapping A. Shouldn't have done that, but oh well. Just a lone Koopa. I mean, do I really need to do anything else? I'm not even going to use any of them. Yeah, hold A down and release it. There we go. One point. As you can see, the level up does just that. Once you get up high enough, it'll do exactly zero. Alright. Moving on up. Up this spire. What's up higher? Ah, another badge. And I do up there. No big deal. I can... In this case, I'd rather power jump than bomb. Because bomb arms I'd rather take out in one shot. Works for me! Alright. With that, you get the Smash Charge Badge. When charged, my race hammer power goes up by two. This is actually a decent badge. Though, I'm pretty sure it requires, like, two points. Uh, actually, no, it does one. Okay. Use it. And that's all my badge points for now. As I said, next level will definitely be badges. 
I certainly would want the HP. We're at 15 and a half minutes, too. Are we, um... Oh, save block. Okay, so we just need to get past this section. Bullet Bills. There's also this thing down here. Drop on bed. Blow the rock up. That gets you a maple syrup, which is 10 FP. Interesting. Anyway, bullet bill chasing time and stuff. I don't know. That was hard. Go ahead and do that. Run a save block. About 17 minutes and getting close to uh, the end of this thing here. So I'm actually going to go ahead and cut this off. And next episode, we'll face the Cooper Brothers. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.